I'm a registered independent. I'm just saying that I think that the the both sides thing is being leveraged now. In a way that's a bit unfair. Yeah. I'm not trying to make it unfair. I'm just saying, like, we have to also recognize that the current narrative on the Democratic side is basically it could be worse. And they're not offering ways in which it could be so much better. And yeah. so that's that's what I'm saying. It's like I would expect and hope that the way in which we're very concerned about what it would be like if we had a Republican president, House and Senate, and Supreme Court, that we also want our leaders to be acknowledging and representing the things that we do want. And so there is movement in that direction and that there is a fight for that and that the the best argument that they give us for being elected isn't, well, it could be worse. Yeah. You know, I, 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 agree. I hear that. And I also look at a bipartisan infrastructure deal that was struck. I look at to, uh, to Keith's point, the student loan debt forgiveness, uh, which is expanding and reaching it's a broader like swath of people. when it comes down to banning TikTok, they seem to be able to agree no problem. I know. Somehow, Thanks for protecting me magically. from the next dance. Yeah, I'm good on that, if you don't mind. I'm good on the next viral like, trend. If you would just give us health care, yeah, right. I'd really love that. So it's like the evidence is clear that they can come together, but they're coming together over what? Yep. Control and power. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Not sure. on giving us what we need. <laughs>